Silent not in agreement to this. Once today is over, we'll return to our normal lives and walk our own paths. Even then, someday, no matter when it may be. Yosuke Senpai, I'm hungry. You want me to go grab a bite yet? <laughs> oh, meat sounds great right now. You'll scale treat, of course. I'm not treating anyone. The store's not even open. Stop trying to make me treat you guys every time. Things really haven't changed at all. Oh, Senpai, look! What? I look to where Rise is pointing and see the sun starting to rise from far beyond the town. Those thick thunderclouds that covered Inaba yesterday seem to have disappeared along with the fog. Let's go, everyone. It's going to be some nice weather in Inaba today. Well, shouldn't Marie make sure of that? Huh. Episode P4, Epilogue. Alright, this should be the very, very end of this side of the story, I think. I assume. And like that, the long holiday is almost over. We're on our way to the station. I said I didn't need anyone to see me off, but since I didn't get much time to relax, deep down I was happy to spend even a little more time with everyone. As we get closer to the station, a familiar figure comes walking from up ahead. As we're about to pass each other, she speaks to me. It's Murray. Yep. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah, same to you. It's not like I really did anything. I was getting my butt handed to me and you weren't around. Like, that was fun. You were keeping Dojima-san and everyone else safe, weren't you? That was a huge help. Stupid. Stupid no-tech love machine. You're being too honest <laughs> with me. Stupid. Best girl, I'm telling you. Marie blushes, somewhat embarrassed, but she was protecting this town from the worst of Hino Kazusuchi's effects. That must have been extremely hard on her. Hey, this town... Um, do you like it? Yeah, I love it. G go home already. Get out of here and and, and come back soon, jerk. <laughs> that was an even bigger outburst than usual. I wanted to express my thanks to her more, but well, seeing her in good spirits again relieves me. I'm sure she'll continue to watch over everyone in this town. As I watch her run off, I hurry and catch up to my friends who've gone on ahead. When we reach the platform, Dojima-san, who was already here, hands me my belongings. Thanks for bringing my things all the way here. Don't worry about it. Man, you seem pretty busy. So, if you're headed back, does that mean things are settled? Yeah. There's a hint of reproach in Dojima-san's eyes. A detective's intuition is an impressive thing. I can tell he still trusts me, since he's stopping short of grilling me for details. I just wish he'd stop with that drill-like stare. Yes. Take some more time off the next time you come. She seemed pretty lonely. <laughs> Nanako looks away sadly as Tejima Slan pushes her forward. She's pouting a little. Nanako, I really feel bad that I couldn't spend more time with her. Oh, you can. It's almost time! Well then. Time to disband the investigation team for real this time. I feel a little down when you actually come out and say it like that. Yes, but disbanding means that the case has been solved. We should take pride in that at least. Investigation team? Okay. <laughs> you start right in front of Nanako and Tojima? The dog went missing, so... Huh? Really? If you had told me, I would have rushed to help in a jiffy. Why are you falling for that? Just stay quiet. <laughs> That's not fair. I wanted to help too. I'm sorry, Nanako. I'll be back in the summer. Really? Whoa, for reals? You're gonna stay the whole summer, right? Ah, the persona uh, for golden epilogue. Yay. That's more than a month. We could do anything then. Let's 
That's definitely a reference to the golden epilogue. Somehow we've gotten sidetracked to the subject of me staying here for my whole summer vacation. I actually had to decide on myself how long I'll be here then. In spite of myself, I glanced towards Dojima san. We wouldn't mind at all. Nanako would love to have you around. The train will be arriving shortly. Please step behind the white lines for your safety. <laughs> As I left my luggage, Hanako rushes over to hug me. She was pouting before, but looks like her sadness has reached its limits. I don't want you to leave. I want to play with you too. Nanako. You really didn't get to spend much time with her. Nanachan, I'll play with you. I know, Nanako-chan, come over to my place. We have a dog. No, I want Big Bro. Shut down. Nanako, if you keep saying such selfish things, I'll tell you a scary story before bed. Oz messed up. Nanako freezes for a moment with a sudden jolt before reluctantly letting me go. Doji must I'm not sure that's a good way to keep her in line. Have more time over the summer vacation, Nanako. We can play more then. Okay. <sighs> I didn't know Nanako chan doesn't like scary stories. Yeah. If she sees a scary story on TV before bed, she can't go to the bathroom by herself. I'm the one who gets woken up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeez, we're through, Dad. Damn. Nanako, tired of being teased so much, rushes into the train, even though the departure bell is already ringing. That was not good timing. Nanako. I chase after Nanako and rush into the train, just as the door closes behind me. Dojima saw and my friends are left behind on the platform with <laughs> dumbfounded expressions. As the scenery slowly begins to move, they all start chasing after our train. Nanako looks back and forth between me and the others outside, and it seems a bit panicked. I grin and then look around inside the train for a seat where we can both sit down until the next station. That's great. That's a great ending. And it's not the ending. Break. Broke. Broken? Eat. Uh, eaten? What's Kanji doing? Why the hell does it keep changing like that? Break? What is it, a car? I don't even have any brothers named Ken! Oh my! Are you studying English? <laughs> it must be a cold day in hell. <laughs> what the heck? I'm trying to study here, so quit making fun of me! My, my. Is Kanji He's studying? <laughs> Damn, my mom looks so happy. I ain't doing this because I want to. I ignore her and turn back to the study aid thing. Oh, that's right. There's something I wanted to ask you. Well, what is it? Quit bothering me. I, I just hurry up and ask already. Well, our dyes seem to be running out much faster lately. Do you know anything about that? I get all flustered at her sudden question. Should I know? Maybe we had a, a burglar or something. Oh my. <laughs> a burglar who only steals dyes. Like I said, how should I know? You're probably just imagining it anyway. Oh my Is god, so? can't you just admit it? How odd. Man, she's weirdly sharp about this stuff. I can't let her figure out yet. She, she can't know that I'm like thinking about the family business and all. My senpai are third years now, so it's only natural that they talk now and then about our plans for the future. And I've been giving it some thought myself, so I decided to start training in secret about stuff like dying. Huh? What's the studying for? That's, uh, well, that's part of my plan, too. Oh, I just remembered. That navy blue handkerchief I washed yesterday had an odd unevenness to its coloring. What? Like how? Well, that handkerchief was my best work lately, and... Wait. The one I washed was a white handkerchief. Oh, 
the ravages of age. Oh my god, she got him. She got him so good. <laughs> you, you old hag! My leaves chuckling all the while. That old hag, she knew. Feeling embarrassed about my secret training getting found out, I take a break from studying and pick up one of the dyed goods out in the store. Uh, the color just isn't the same. I compare it to the fabric I dyed from a mascot plushie. I didn't notice it until I actually worked with dyes on my own, but Ma's dyed goods are something else. How does she get the dyes to do that? I catch myself sighing and shake the cobwebs out of my head. Your senpai has gone back to the city, and my other senpai are probably leaving town next year too, according to their post grad plans. Risei and Naoto too. Even now, they're away from Edoba more than they're here. To be honest, it's sad to see us all go our separate ways. But the funny thing is, I don't feel as nervous about it as I did. Maybe it's because I found a goal I can be proud of. And that goal is to become a pro craftsman, spreading my dad goods across the world. I do that, and my friends who leave Inaba won't be lonely no matter where in the world they end up. But first, I gotta get better at dying, and I need to learn to speak English, too. With new resolve, I look up at this Tatsumiya shop curtain. Seeing those vibrant, perfectly dyed colors, I can't help but feel a wicked laugh rising up in me. I ain't giving up, goddammit! Meanwhile, Yukiko, me. as I'm picking up the empty plates from the parlor, which is as lively as usual, a guest beckons me over. Oh, you're a high school girl and a manager? That's awesome. Hey, oh, of course. Could you wash my back later? Oh! Please don't choke like that. Well, I might consider it if you held a party here every day for the next year. Really? Whoa! I'll take you up on that. Yukiko! Thank you for your patronage. Of course, I must ask that you pay for everything up front. Huh? While the guest is stunned, I exit the parlor. If people like him are important guests, it would be easy to lash out. But I've started to learn lately that there are other ways to deal with them. Yuki-chan, are you okay? Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Don't worry. I'll make sure to lean on you and the others if I'm ever feeling stressed. Please help me out if that happens. Really? <laughs> You've gotten so dependable all of a sudden. I can't help but smile a little at the waitress's delight. The reason I'm able to try my best like this isn't because of my strength alone. It's more that I want to keep pushing myself further because I have people who depend on me. And I think it's because of that case that I'm starting to think this way now. I made my decision to take over the inn and everyone is cheering me on. To live up to their expectations I need to train hard so I won't be dis a disgrace as the inn's manager. Even when it comes to cooking I don't have to be as good as the chefs, I just need to be able to make something simple, make some simple appetizers by myself. As I moved to the corner of the kitchen I was borrowing, I checked the contents of the pot. And of course, Mystery Food X. Maybe I should use yogurt. Oh my god, you can go please learn how to cook. That's odd. I was sure this was how the chefs did it. Yuki chan? Um, I smell something burning. Are you okay? I'm okay for now. You're improving as a manager. Don't try and uh Your progress as a cook is still bumpy. Yeah, don't try and eat it. Don't sample it. I can't help but sigh at the way just as gentle rejection as I stare at the burnt pot. Maybe I should get more people to help taste my food. Yeah, I'm not alone, so I'm sure my friend no they won't. Yosuke will run away. And Teddy and Kanji. They know. They know you and Chie can't cook. Or Rise. Speaking of Chie. Eh? Huh. I'm gonna leave math for later. I gotta start with general ed questions first. More studying. I wave the white flag at the incomprehensible row of numbers and 